We're here at the St. Joe River, the highest navigable river in the world, for the Sasquatch Flow Trip! Well, part of that eagle nest blew out, and we got the baby sitting right there on the limb waiting for mama. You can see him right there. Part of their nest. Oh, part of that. That one limb on the right's gone. They're up there on the limb. They're all freaking out. Yeah, that's bad. They'll fix it. Sure. This is our eagles up here. We come and visit every year. Yeah. These are the babies. Oh, there's, mom. there's mom right there. She come to the rescue. Oh. Oh, nice. Oh. Look how happy they are that mom came back. Oh. She's big too. Dad. Oh, they're Look dead. Dad. Look, he's already making a, Look at dad. a new stick already. Look at dad. Check he's him got out. A new stick already. Look, Look, he's got new sticks. <laughs> Oh. oh, mom and dad to the rescue. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna take it out from under these trees. In order to film this for you guys, I gotta get directly underneath this tree. Cause I don't wanna be caught up in this storm. It's like really blaring. So if you look up here, mom and dad have come to rescue the babies. They're sitting right up there. nest is taking some damage the other nest came to the ground I'm gonna take some pictures of it that storm's moving look it looks like my, like my dad's face yeah <laughs> yeah is that weird it oh, it looks like better weather down there that poor eagle, so. No, there was no eagles in the other nest that oh, fell. Warm and now feed them and now feed Did you see them. any? There weren't no eagles no. in that old one. I sort of like directly under the tree seems safer yeah. than. I didn't see any point now. <laughs> uh, it's warm out, they're not going to freeze it. Oh, uh, mom and dad to the rescue. Hear them babies screaming? Yeah. They're like, we just went through a big storm while you guys were out hunting. Let's see, it went across here, and then it broke, and somehow it flopped on the rest of it. So part of it flipped on the ground when it hit. Yeah. It was standing right back here, right? Yeah. Yeah, that right one came here. down. What was that, like five, six years ago? Yeah, last, well, last fall. Last fall? Oh, this ain't the same one as over yeah. there. Boom, 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 that's the same one. Yeah, when they come down, they come down. There's just one little branch here left. Yeah, there, there's where I heard the splash. <laughs> this limb went down into the water. Came up this tree. These are some big trees. I can't keep it, help but keep my head looking up. Well, that one totally stripped down and went down in the river. It's gone already. It's already floated down the river. All right, well, a couple minutes before the storm hit, I was gonna film this nest that used to be right there in that open space. It didn't just hit under the tree. It hit clear over here underneath this one. And that eagle's nest is right in here. There's gonna be feathers and stuff. This is it, right? Yeah. Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Wow, there must be a half a ton of uh, trash here. They make one heck of a nest, don't they? All right, 6 p.m. Like I said, that's a, war a warning on the advisory until 10 p.m. But we've been already cleaning up all the mess. You can see we've cleaned up, made a bunch of little piles around. Little piles here and there the kids have been picking up. This is where we're going floating down this river. It's a 
beautiful scenery. Yeah, check this out, you guys. Up there, you see this ridge? This is Cemetery Ridge. This is where all the people died in the 1910 fire. Right up there, they were trapped on that ridge. Um, uh, the people who decided to leave and skip dinner uh, survived, and all the people that didn't leave, that stayed for dinner, got trapped, and they died up there. And uh, I'll do some research on that and tell you how many there were, but that's Cemetery Ridge right there. And there's some really cool stones, right? Right there on Cemetery Ridge. It's a big rock face. But I'll tell you some more history about Cemetery Ridge later. Anyway, we're just going around cleaning up some of the mess. We have to stay out from under these trees until 10 o'clock tonight. And then it shouldn't be too bad after that. We knew that one tree was bad. That's why we had moved this way. Good thing nobody was underneath that thing when it fell. As soon as the wind picked up, we put the kids in the cars and moved out here into this open space. There ain't no trees out here. We're cooking dinner down there tonight. We'll move back down here later. Anyway, cleaning up some of the mess and making piles. We'll be playing some horseshoes tomorrow. Yeah, this is a great mar mar uh, horseshoe pit. This is a great horseshoe pit. We have a lot of fun down here every year. There's our horseshoes. Yep. Neat horseshoe pit. There's the beach. We got a cookout right here under these cedars, which are pretty safe actually. This is probably where we'll hang out tonight. Got this big fire here. Pit. Nice fire pit. Some stones are embedded. That piece there. Anyway, yeah. Shirley lets us come down here and camp every year. We come down here for four or five days. We still have a mess to pick up. Look at all these branches. There's a ton of them too around the campsite. Our one tent that we had tied down to the table was destroyed. And then got right across the top of it and wiped it out. That's okay. Man, what a heck of a first day of camping. You see where that big limb fell down off the tree up there. Came down right there. It snapped out. See the top right there. Broke off. And it's clear down inside the camp area. That would have been deadly. Anyway, I'm picking up piles, cleaning it up. I'll go down here and see the eagles. I don't see them up there. Oh, yep. Right on the edge. Sticking out on that one limb, waiting for mom and dad to do repair. There's two of them sitting there, side by side. Got her opening her wings, yeah. Maybe it's not, I hope it's just maybe too much of the warm.